Um, Killing level 30 mobs. Sir. Swift Thistle is one of the most commonly used regents in all of Classic WoW. It's used for rogues to make Thistle Tea. It's a consumable that increases their energy by 100, which is basically stupidly strong and lets them completely burst down almost anybody in a 1v1. And it's also used for Swiftness Potions. Consumable that, well, literally everybody likes to use, and it just gives you a little on-demand sprint. Every single class can make use out of it, and ones that really love it are things like Mages and Druids when they're doing flag carrying. And if you pair it with Paladins, with Blessing of Freedom, you're basically just zooming all around the map. So these items are always in constant demand. Now, yesterday's video when I made the mining recipe, my goal was to make a, a mount farming video for the lobies out there. And unfortunately, I was looking at the comments this morning, a lot of people were struggling selling the recipe on their server. Now, I promise I would not give up on these low-level farms, so today we are out here in Ashenvale trying to farm some Swift Thistle from the Jade... From the shade thicket, what the hell do you even call these things? The monster? I was looking up, I don't even know what you call this thing. They're monsters? But anyway, I was on Wowhead and I discovered that the swift thistle off these guys are actually the highest drop rates in the whole game, apparently. Now, obviously, you can go out and herbalism swift thistle, but if you're a leveling character like me, a lot of times you're not doing professions till you're high level. So, this could be a great alternative to getting some of that sweet, sweet swift thistle. Let's make sure our kills are reset here, and let's get right into this. Obviously, they're level 20, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble at all here. The only thing that could happen is either I'm wrong and we're going to get absolutely no Swift Thistle. Or, or that, that's about it. That's about the only thing that could go wrong here now that I think about it. <laughs> so here we are. First three kills. 43 copper, 86 copper, 65 copper. Now, I don't think this is going to be a super long video today because it's not a high-level farm. But I really just felt awful about the about all the comments saying that the enchant wasn't selling well on their server. So I scratched my brain a little bit, and like I said, I was on Wowhead, and all of these guys have a five percent drop rate apparently for the Swift Thistle. So about every twenty kills, we should be getting one. And it's just so weird to me that they would choose level twenty mobs to give one of the best flowers in the whole game to, and because everybody's just getting stockade and Mara boosted. I have. I, I will have literally no competition here. I'm almost positive today that I will have that I'll be the only person at this little lake here. This is a very cool little location too. I do remember coming out here for a quest once or twice. There's like an oracle in the middle of this lake you have to kill. Seems like a a bit of an underused location. I like it a lot. These might be the lowest level mobs I've killed on the whole series so far, guys. Yo, there we go. I was, <laughs> I was starting to suspect it didn't exist, and I was going to look foolish, but, well, I, I probably look foolish anyway, but that doesn't matter. We got the Swift Thistle, 1 gold and 10 silver on my server, and on Bigglesworth, my horde character, they're actually way more than that. They're actually like 2 gold, and that's the server I have my rogue on, which is kind of funny, but anyway, it took us 34 kills to get that sweet, sweet Swift Thistle. Let's keep it going. Earthroot's interesting, but unfortunately, it doesn't sell for that much. Hey, we got Mystic Shoulder Pads. Our first shoulders, boys. Our first shoulder pads. <laughs> you never forget your first. Well, hey, bro. If it's if anything, it's a shoulder farm. It's a low-level shoulder farm. <laughs> Finally, another Swift Thistle. 67 kills <laughs> for two Swift Thistle. Oh, God. Alright, 99 kills in. I'm a little embarrassed to admit we only have two Swift Thistle, but that's okay because we did get these sweet Mystic Shoulder Pads and Ritual Amos, which, uh, th those are the real reasons we're out here, right? Right? Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna power through these next 401. Shouldn't take long at all today. These spawns are nice, and obviously there's no competition out here because, well, there really shouldn't be, but we're committed now. No quitting, so I will talk to you guys when we're at 500 total kills. Bye.
All right, guys. 499 Shade Thicket Elementals down. And uh, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> we definitely did not get the amount of Swift Thistle I thought. I'm going to be honest, at a, that 5% drop rate, I'm normally not one to complain about stuff like that, but I don't think it's actually 5% just because we should see at least 20 of these, right? For 500, I mean, maybe we just got a little unlucky or maybe that's not updated. I don't know what it was, but I can tell you this was actually kind of a fail. So don't come out here if you're looking to make gold at a low level. I will do a, a video tomorrow about a real low level gold farm because... I'm tired of letting you guys down with this, but that's for another time. For now, let's go ahead and finish this out. No excuses. 500 Shade Thicket Elementals. For our 500th kill, we get... All right, a King's Blood. I'll take that. That's not insulting. <laughs> I'll take that, actually. So, all in all, guys, like I was just saying, don't come out here. It's not good gold, but I mean, if you really need Swift Thistle, if you're on like a hardcore character or something, actually, maybe, I guess, that's the only way I would see doing it. Uh... But I, I guess I just have to note, yeah, respawns were safe. The only reason this took me a couple hours is because the server ended up going down and I ended up getting a bunch of stuff done today. But other than that, super easy, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. So let's go move all this trash and I'll see you guys in Stormwind. All right, guys, so here we are in Stormwind. As you can see, we got 270 of the Shade Thicket Rain Collars and 230 of the Shade Thicket Wood Shapers. I don't want to waste any time today, guys. Let's just get right into the loot. We got the Formula Enchant, Two-Handed Weapon, Lesser Spirit, One Moss Agate, Five Bryothorn, Fourteen Silver Leaf, Seven Earth Root, Five Swift Thistle, A Grunt's Ankle Wraps of the Bear, Bristle Bark Bindings, Watcher's Cape of Stamina, A Clay Ring of the Bear, which to our credit, I mean, if I was leveling and I had no gold and I found this, I'd be stoked because we can probably get 10 gold for this bad boy. Um, and then a short ash bow. But other than that, we just have these little shoulders here, which I'm going to put up on the auction house for like 40 silver a piece just to like give them out to the lobies. Um, cause low level shoulder pads are awesome. But other than that, and the four King's blood here, I think all of these are just going straight to the vendor. Unfortunately, man, there's nothing much I can do See with this way? stuff. And I kind of knew what I was getting into with this farm, but I didn't know it was going to be this little of gold. <laughs> All right, so those Shade Thicket something? dudes got us up to a nice, clean two gold, 85 silver. When we get all these vendorables out of the way, we get up to... I guess I'm going to hold on to these shoulders and put them on the auction house as well. Uh, four gold, 76 silver. Light. Uh, I mean... What can you say? It's a level 30, a level 30 farm, right? But hang on. You know, I didn't really think about how just how many shoulder pads I got here. Now, I won't lie to you guys, I don't think you're going to make a lot of gold from these shoulder pads, but I just kind of realized that sometimes people do pay for shoulder pads in the level, in the teen level area. Oh, I should go repair. What are you looking for? Have a good one. Like, if I was leveling a character and I needed shoulder pads, I would easily pay five gold for shoulder pads, personally. And I'm looking like none of these ones in particular are on the auction house. One gold for the, the rawhide. Okay, so I guess these aren't that rare. But for these cloth ones, if they're leveling mages or warlocks, rich players will probably pay for these um, handsomely. I'm going to put them up for 50 silver just because I want to be nice today and I want to like give them out to the uh, to the lobbies. But I would advise you guys to make as much money as possible and go ahead and, and sell those for five, six gold a pop. I bet you they would sell. Now this doesn't, we don't have any... This I don't know what I want to do with. So I just looked at, I'm comparing it to ones that are for sale now, and there is one from Skolomance here for 15 gold that gives 9 spirit, and obviously that's way better, right? So I'm not going to go crazy with this. I'll, I'll sell it to some completionist for 5 gold. 
Somebody who just really wants to, you know, complete their enchanting book, I bet we'll pay for that. 148 for the Moss Agate. Briar Thorn, 22 silver apiece. Two silver each for the silver lease. Very nice. Three silver for the Earth Root. We're moving up in the world, boys. We'll save the Swift Thistle for last. Two silver apiece for that. We'll do one gold for the Watcher's Cape of Stamina. We'll do two gold for the Short Ash. Oh, I should have done that cheaper. Rip. Now, this Ring of the Bear, I'm going to do for eight gold because I think there will be some rich warriors or paladins leveling up out there. Five gold for the bindings, two gold for this. Now, those were a little random, and I'll be honest, the only reason that was so random is because I don't think those are going to sell <laughs> no matter what I do. Um, and if they sell, great. If they don't sell, then they're just going to get disenchanted immediately. But I, what I do know will sell, and what the goal of this farm was, was the Swift Thistle here at one gold and 24 silver. Wow. Uh, Max consumables on me, boys. I'll pay for it all here because we got six gold, 20 silver with this Swift Thistle here. Um, again, thankfully that didn't take long those respawns were crazy it was like two hours if that so I didn't waste too much time here today but I'm definitely a little disappointed I thought we were gonna get more I thought the 5% drop rate was gonna pay off but like I was saying I don't think it's really 5% so I'm rambling tomorrow guys I will get back to I promise no matter what I do tomorrow we will make gold doing it I'm gonna focus on really trying to get a cool farm for tomorrow so make sure you're stay tuned for that and yeah, all in all, this farm, don't do it. Super fun, but don't do it if you need gold. <laughs> uh, I, I just kind of like that area. I like that little swampy vibe. I like Ashar. I think it's cool to go to those hidden locations. So I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't recommend it for you guys personally. If you want gold, head over, get that Crusader enchant, or get the worm meat out in Silithus. I'll leave those two links at the end of this video so you can check out those ones if you want to actually make some gold. But I'm rambling, guys. Uh, just a quick second, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, all the likes, all the comments, all the support, appreciate it, seriously, thank you, I'm going to keep pumping these things out, and from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it, thank you for watching, so, that's going to do it for me, guys, my name's Barakage, take it easy, have fun if you're playing Shadowlands, and I will see you guys in the next one.